hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your pc for delta force for better fps fixed lags and stutter and other performance issues so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is the best windows settings for which you have to open up settings on your PC and once you are here, head over to personalization, then colors and then you have to disable transparency effects as this will disallow your windows and surfaces appear translucent, saving you unwanted animations on your PC. Then head over to gaming and then game bar and then you're gonna have to turn this one off as it will help you to reduce the overlay services running in the background, helping you to essentially save your system resources. Then get back to gaming, head over to game mode and enable this one as it will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to get extra frames. Then click on the graphics button underneath and then you have to enable optimizations for windowed games and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as both of them will help you reduce unwanted input latency and utilize your primary graphics card to render the game. Once that is done, you have to head over to add desktop app button over here to add your game. Now if you're unaware of it, you can simply open up Steam, right click on your game and select manage and then select browse local files here. This will take you to the file location of your game. All you have to do is head over to game, delta force, pine trees, win64 and then copy the exact file path over here. Then you can simply open it up and paste the file path and then you have to select the delta force client win64 shipping. Select the add button and if that is already added, scroll down to find the application and for the preference, change it from let windows decide to high performance and ensure that it is utilizing your graphics card. Once that is done, the last thing that I would recommend you guys in the settings is windows update. I would highly recommend you guys to check for any pending updates if it is possible on your windows. If there are any pending updates, you can simply apply them because they might be causing bugs in the PC. The next step is actually compatibility settings and for that you have to go back to the same download location where you have saved your game and find the win64 shipping file. Right click on that, head over to its properties, select compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations here. Then select change IDPI setting and select this option to reduce unwanted input latency and this step itself will help you to fix unwanted black screen issues as well. Next step is fixing all kind of packet loss, ping issues and all of the network issues using LagoFast. I have left a free download link to LagoFast right in the description description below for all of you guys. Once you open it up, you'll find a library of more than 500 games to choose from. Simply search for Delta Force over here and select it. Then you, it will ask you to choose the nearest region to you. I will leave it to automatic and it will find the nearest node with the lowest amount of ping. And over here, it has selected a server for me with lowest ping. Simply click on one click boost and it will help you connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance, helping you to fix all kind of packet loss, ping issues and other network related issues. LagoFast also offers you a ton of game tools which includes anti mist touch assistant, one click repair tool, FPS booster 2.0, memory optimization assistant which essentially helps you to clear your RAM, simply click on optimize memory and it will help you to free up your RAM for gaming. It also has decompression boost tool, windows lag fix and DirectX 12 component installation. And if that is not enough, it has a dedicated FPS boost section where you can apply all of the best settings to optimize your CPU and GPU as well. And if you want to purchase any plan for yourself, simply use my coupon code BEARFOX and it will help you to get extra discounts on the subscription over here as well. Once again, I have left a free download link to LagoFast right in the description below and it will help you for not only Delta Force but all of the other games on your PC. Next step is disabling background applications on your PC and for that you can search for edit group policy and open it up. Now this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. So once you are here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then windows components and then app privacy. Here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to tap it open and then make sure that this policy is enabled. Then under the options, you'll find default for all apps. I would recommend you guys to set this into force deny and click on apply. This will deny all of the applications from running in the background, helping you to save your essential useful resources. The next step is disabling sysmain. Now it is a very important service to disable because it consumes up to 15% of your CPU resources. For that, you can simply search for services and then you have to find sysmain in this list. Simply come down and find this, right click on it and head over to properties. Then you'll find startup type. Set this thing to disabled and if the service is already running, simply click on stop. After that, click on the apply button and make sure that the service is stopped. Now, at any given point, you can turn it back on, but disabling sysmain will essentially help you to optimize your PC. Once that is done, simply close it. The next step is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point and once you are here, look for your local disk C. Click on the 
quickly create button and name it Delta Force just so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system property. The next step is Delta Force FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack is optimized for season 7 and in here I have left 6 very simple folders to optimize the performance of your PC. First folder here is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. It helps you set up the correct D word value for your processor to optimize its performance correctly. Now if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply this priority and same goes for the AMD CPU users. The second folder here is RAM optimization which essentially which essentially helps you to optimize the performance of your RAM. Here I have 32 GB RAM so you double click and apply this registry but for you guys I have left a ton of presets from which you can select your RAM. And once again if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default using this registry in the last over here. Third folder is Delta Force priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. This will help you to set up the correct game priority and optimize your game performance. For this I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose from this list. Fourth one is disable unwanted services and although it's completely optional, I would highly recommend you guys to run every single one of them as it will help you to optimize the performance by disabling unwanted services in the background. Here, except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, double click and apply all of them and it will help you to do that. Once again, at any given point you want to turn them back on, use the revert registries folder to turn them back on. Fifth folder here is batch tweaks which includes memory compression, process mitigation and latency tweaks. All of these commands will help you to run special specific commands on your PowerShell in the background automatically at one single click, you can edit them in Notepad to see the real-time changes that they are going to do. Double click and apply all of them as administrator. Last is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files, MSI mode, utility 3.0 and Pro PC optimizer. All three of them are designed to optimize your PC bit by bit. The first one helps you to clean your temporary files. For that you have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will open up a command prompt. Simply press enter, this will delete all temporary files and it's completely safe to do it and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Second one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and then run it as administrator. It will help you to set up the correct GPU interrupt priority for you guys. Find your graphics card in this list. Click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high and apply. This will prioritize interrupts on a higher basis and it will help you to improve the performance of your GPU. Third is Pro PC Optimizer which is essentially a one click optimizer for you guys. Simply run it as administrator. Once it opens up, all you have to do is press enter two times and it will start creating a restore point. This is a very important and useful step and let it do the job. Simply wait for one minute and once that's done, press enter and this will apply all of the best windows settings for you guys with one single click so you don't have to worry about anything else. Once that is done, all you have to do is simply close the FPS pack. Next step is cleaning up your GPU shader cache and this is a very useful step because it will help you to eventually fix all kind of black screen issues, micro stuttering or any other issues in your game due to corrupted cache. For that you have to simply search for disk cleanup on your PC and open it up. Select your local disk C because this is the place where all of the shader cache is created. Click on the OK button and find the DirectX shader cache over here. You can check any other file that you want to clean on your PC and simply click on OK. Select delete files and this will clean up your shader cache and it will force the game to re-render the shaders helping you to fix any issues that might be caused by that. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you are in your game, head over to settings and then click on graphics. Over here, you have to select your monitor as your primary monitor. Display adapter should be your native graphics card. Then for the display mode, go with borderless windowed if you are trying to use up sampling. If not, go with full screen. Then you have in-game match frame rate cap. I have left it to unlimited. V-Sync and Nvidia Fast Sync, both of them should be turned off. After that, you will find graphic settings where I have set the graphics preset to medium, where the motion blur is set to off. Reflections, you guys can go with low. Texture filtering, high. Ambient occlusion, high. Particles, medium. Distortion, low. Scene details, you can go with medium. And scene view distance, you guys can go with high for this one. Then you have advanced graphic settings where you have depth of field, I've kept it to off. Global illumination quality, medium. Shaders, medium. Textures, high. Shadows, low. Streaming, medium. Shadow map, low. Post processing, low. Volumetric fog, low. Animations, medium. Then you have super resolution where I have set the super resolution mode to NVIDIA DLSS. But if you guys have AMD graphics, you can go with Fidelity FX or Intel Zest for Intel graphics. Then for this super resolution, I've gone with balanced, but you guys can go with performance or quality according to your system. Then you have DLSS frame generation. I would recommend you guys to turn it off because it induces a little bit of input latency. But if you guys want to get extra FPS and you can compromise on that, you can turn this one off. 
on. Then Nvidia Reflex Low Latency should be enhanced over here. And once all of that is done, click on the apply button. This will apply the best settings for Delta Force and it will help you to get extra FPS in the games. Head back and now you guys can go into your game and check the results. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and your sub would definitely be appreciated. I will see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.